So here we are, it's the two-wheel drive A final action coming up now. Three legs, fantastic racing. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we shall begin. Okay, here we go, the A final leg number one here at the 2011 European Championships. It's a great start up front, Neil getting away cleanly from Lee Martin, Yawn is there in third place, and that's how they come over the jumps for the first time in front of the driver's stand. So Neil out in front, Lee Martin running in second, Yawn Nyman in running third, and then Paul Bradbury fourth off the grid. The grid order through the first few corners. Oh, and then coming off the quad jumps, Neil makes a small mistake, and that allows Lee up into the lead. Yawn is up into second place, and Neil down to third, and Brad is in fourth. Here we can see a slow-mo the replay. Three cars just touching a little bit as they land off the jump. Neil getting a bit sideways, and that puts Lee out in front. Now, Lee's starting to pull away already. Neil is now under pressure from Yawn uh, behind him. Here they go across that quad jump again. Oh, and this time it's Yawn who makes a mistake, and so Brad is, is up into the third place. Paul Bradby up into third spot. Neil still running second, and you can't even see, just see Lee in the top of the pitch there. He's pulled out a massive lead already at this stage of the race. So a little bit later on, and Bradis has got past Neil. So Paul Bradby up it now into second place, Neil down to third. But unfortunately, it wasn't to stay like this for much longer because on the uh, penultimate lap of the race, Paul Bradby breaks his car and drops out of the race. But Lee Martin, look at all the clear track he's got around him, well out in front, down the back straight he goes. On his final lap of the race, the defending champion started second on the grid, w coming round uh, in front of the driver's stand, round the last corner, across the table jump, and Lee is going to win leg one of the A final. Uh, Neil finishes in second place behind him. Hupo Honigal finishes in third place. Yawn is fourth. And Ellis Stafford completes the top five in leg number one. Moving into leg two of the A final. And uh, it's uh, Neil Cragg again getting a, a good start from pole. Lee's behind him in second place. Yawn is still there in third, round in front of the driver's stand. Brad is still running in fourth. This time it's uh, across the quads for the first time. And again on the first lap, Neil makes a mistake coming across the quad jumps and Lee takes the lead on the, on the opening lap of the race. Let's look at that again in slow motion. It's just Lee gets, uh, Lee gets his timing spot on. Neil gets it a little bit wrong. Lee jumps across top to take the lead. But then on the second lap, Lee makes a mistake on the landing and that puts Neil back out in front. Jorn was hanging there trying to pick up second place but Lee just got back on the power in time, holds on second place so it's now Neil Cragg out in front again. Lee running in second place, Jorn in third. Here we can see Lee in front of the driver's stand across this big tabletop jump and under the timing bridge there. And oh, um, uh, that's Neil Cragg again making a mistake going across the quad jumps. Those quads proving really treacherous to these top drivers. Lee got right alongside him but couldn't quite make a move stick. Now they're nose to tail coming through this tricky S section of the track. No jumps through there but not a very flat track at all. Onto the back straight. Oh, uh, Neil pulling a wheelie down the back straight. Put, trying to put the power down. In front of the driver's stand. Here they come across the uh, big tabletop jump. Now into the closing stage of the race. You can see the first three cars nose to tail. Onto the back straight once again. Yawn hanging with these guys as well, trying to uh, force them into mistake. Hopefully, pick up some pieces if they, they make a mistake. But these are two of the top drivers in the world. Lee is the defending European champion, and Neil Craig, a former European and world champion, and was TQ in two wheel drive at the Worlds earlier this year. But again, a small mistake from Neil coming off that quad jump, not getting the car quite right over the quad jump. He was amazing in qualifying through there, but in these finals, not got the rhythm sorted out completely. Onto the uh, final lap now. Here we go, again across the, the difficult quads, keeps it clean this time, through the, uh, the flat section of the track on the far left hand side, through the S's, here we go, it's Neil from Lee, Lee makes a small mistake there, gives uh, Neil a little bit of breathing space, onto the back straight, Neil Craig out in front, down the back straight, through the uh, far right hand turn of the track, in front of the drive stand, oh we see Lee makes a mistake in the background, and that's Paul Bradbury right up alongside Lee now, so there's actually a race for second place, Neil makes a mistake coming across the tabletop, across the line, and in fact Paul Bradbury is now going to uh, take second place from Lee, thanks to that mistake from Lee, so in the leg number two it was Neil taking the win, Paul Bradbury in second place, Lee in third, Yawn finishes in fourth, and Antoine finishes in fifth place. So here we are, the final and deciding leg of the A final. Again, it's a good start from the first three cars. There's a bit of a pile up behind, but the first three are away cleanly. It's Neil out in front, Lee running in second place, Yawn still in third. Now, of course, if, if Lee or Neil wins this leg of the final, they will be European champion. Both of them know that. Immense pressure on the shoulders of these two British drivers. They've raced against each other many, many times in the British National Series. And now it really comes down to this European Championship A final, the final leg who is going to become European champion. Neil out in front at the moment, Lee running in that second place. They've already pulled out quite a decent lead over Yorn at this stage. 
Just in this opening lap, you can see they are the class of the field of this event. That a little bit quicker than anyone else. Across the, uh, the quad jumps they go. Oh, and once again, it's those quad jumps that catch Neil out. Puts his car on his roof. Here we go. He gets the timing slightly wrong. Uh, crashes on the, uh, the landing in the middle of the quad. In fact, Lee not getting a perfect landing at the end either. So that has put Antoine up into the second position. Here we can see Lee now. He's already got low. Look at that track space he's got behind him. Lee getting on the uh, getting the move on, putting the uh, power down, starting to pull away from the rest of the field. You can see loads of clear track around him now. That's the gap back. It's now Antoine running in second place. French local driver. There's a massive French crowd here for this finals day, cheering their cheering their local driver on. Antoine is running in the second place. And, oh, and just we're talking about him, he makes a mistake coming off the end of the quad section. That puts Neil Craig back up into second place. So Neil back in second. Lee pulling away at the front. Coming on to the, uh, the last few laps of the race now. Last final lap. Here he is Lee. Look at that clear space he's got around. No one in sight. Miles clear of the field. Lee Martin, defending European champion, won the first leg, was beaten by his countryman Neil Craig in leg number two. Here he comes in front of the driver's stand, round the final corner, cross table jump, and Lee Martin is going to defend his European champion. Lee Martin, two times European champion, two wheel drive, electric off road. Neil Craig comes across the line, finishes in second place, and huge uh, cheers from the French grounders. Antoine finishes in third, which puts him third overall on the podium. Let's go over to the uh, podium celebrations and the press conference from the finals. I feel absolutely amazing um, to be able to beat Neil when he was driving awesome and we had a great race all week and I, yes, words can't describe. Obviously you qualified second on the grid, um, able to pass Neil in, in two of the finals. Uh, in the second leg of the final you had a really close race with him but not able to, to make it three wins out of three. Talk us about that second final, how much pressure was on you in that one? Yeah, I mean, it was there was a lot of pressure, but my car felt good. Um, but Neil just drove an awesome race in front of me, and I couldn't make the pass. So I made a stupid last effort on the on the last straight and crashed and dropped down to third. But you know, props to him; he, he drove awesome that race. Moving to Neil, second place. You put it on pole, uh, had a good start in all three legs, but then it seemed to be that quad jump in the middle of the track that caught you out in all three legs of the final. Yeah, it did. I was really good because yeah, this. I've been really good on it all week in qualifying and then come the, in the practice it was good. Come to the final I was a little nervous on it, especially first laps, but what can you do, you know? It's been a tough week and the racing's been really close and really good. It has been really close and also a fantastic year for you, of course, British national champion in two-wheel drive, uh, TQ at the, the World Championships as well yeah. and TQ here just not quite able to, to make that step up into Almost, the champion. Almost, yeah. Half a job done, but never mind. Maybe next time. <laughs> Antoine, third place. It has been a long time since we've had a French driver in an off-road A final, um, but we, here we are, and third place on the podium. Congratulations. Um, en fait, j'ai un peu. De... He's still. He says. Antoine says he's still in a bit of a state of shock. Um, he's done a lot of work for this, um, and he thinks he's probably going to be more aware tomorrow what's actually happened to him. For, for the time being, he's just uh, somewhat shell shocked. And is this your lucky hat? Oui, oui. <laughs> So behind those three drivers, it was Jorn Nyman finishing in fourth overall, uh, Hupo Honegal finishing in fifth, Paul Bradby finishing in uh, sixth place overall, uh, Peter Pinnish finished seventh, Ellis Stafford eighth, Martin Creel ninth, and Rene Trauner finished tenth, rounding out the A final here in Pau. So it was these quad jumps behind me that had a huge impact on the overall result of the two-wheel drive class. Stay tuned to FO.WS throughout the rest of the week as we bring you all the action from the four-wheel drive event starting tomorrow with the practice day.